All right, this is the fourth year of the conference. Uh, I was not here for Simon's keynote. I'm not sure how much he discussed about the background about the conference. But the conference started in 2011. Uh, the first conference was at San Francisco. This was in April. And since then, the time has been drifting from April to June and now in September. So this is the fourth year. And this is uh, the first time we're actually doing this in uh, India or Asia, for that matter. My name is Naresh. Uh, most of you would have got spammed by me uh, multiple times, confusing emails. That's what I'm known for with typos. That's, that's me, right? If you get emails with typos and confusing, then you know it's authentic. It's me, right? Otherwise, it's an automated email. Uh, just a quick overview of the conference itself. So this is a three-day conference. We kicked off the conference yesterday uh, with the pre uh, conference workshop. So we had four fantastic workshops last yesterday. And today we have the conference and tomorrow as well. And then we also have a Kivix uh, bug bash, which I'm going to talk about in a few minutes. I'm going to also get Julian to come and talk about the project. But before I bore you guys with too much details, let's do a quick exercise to get people up and, you know, ready for the conference. Are you ready for a quick exercise? Fantastic, I need to hear you guys. So what I want you to do is I want you to self-organize and form groups of 10 people. And your group should contain each of these, one person each. So get up, move around, and try and find people with all, you know, one person per role. <laughs> Winning team gets nothing. I want you to form groups of 10 people. And in your group, you need to have one person for each role on up there. All right, please stand up and move. The point of coming to a conference is networking, right? So we want you to network. Whichever group finishes first, put up your hand so we know who the winner is. I want you gentlemen in the front to stand up and please move. Do we have one group which is finished? We have a winner over there. So put up your hands if you're done. So we have one team, two teams, three teams, four teams. Five teams. Which is the last team? They need to get a prize, right? They've, they had the toughest time to find all the 10 people. Introduce yourself in your group. At least you have made nine new friends. But the prize is you've got nine new friends, hopefully. Yes? The point of coming to a conference is not to sit in boring sessions. Trust me. It's to network with people. It's to learn from other people and to share what you know. That's what we want you to do. And that's why we want to kickstart the conference with this activity. We have, last when I checked, 
399 people registered. We need one more people to touch the 400 mark for the conference today, right? And we have people from 201 com uh, companies playing 232 different roles. So that's quite phenomenal. So I think you have quite a good diversity of people over here. So that improves, enriches your learning experience at the conference. Make sure you utilize those two days to do that. The other nice thing that I found is we have participants from 17 different countries over here. Right? Can we have everyone stand up who's come from 10 kilometers or more radius? 10 or more. <laughs> <laughs> 50 or more, rest of you can sit down. <laughs> 100 or more, rest of you can sit down. 100 or more, keep standing, rest of you can sit down. 500 or more. 1,000 kilometers. 5,000 kilometers. <laughs> wow, thank you guys. That was a long trip. <laughs> Oops, I already flipped the slide. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details of the program. Each of you in your kits, you would have got uh, four sheets of the program, right? Uh, the program agenda. So we have three parallel tracks going on at the conference. This is grand ballroom number one, right? This is grand ballroom number one. We're going to split the, we're going to put the divider and that's going to become grand ballroom number two right behind you. Not at the corner. The guy sitting in the front and the back need to look front. There's nothing behind that. And then we have uh, the Esquire Hall, which is right around the corner. So those are the three tracks that we have. Everything's located on the same floor. The bar is upstairs. Is everyone clear about the three tracks? What's going to happen at the three tracks? If you're confused, then that's good. You'll figure it out. You have nine other friends to talk to. I'm going to quickly talk about the bug bash. I think this is an important event we are trying to do at the event. Uh, this is like a special event that we are trying to do. Last one I checked, we had 34 people par participating on the bug bash. Uh, how many people are familiar with uh, the concept of a bug bash. All right, so for the majority, I'm going to quickly run over the idea of a bug bash. The idea is to get a bunch of people, uh, either physically together or remotely, and take a product and pound on it. The intention to pound on it is to try and find tricky bugs, try and find hidden bugs, right? So it has proved out to be a very effective way of testing, uh, you know, in many places, companies part Companies run bug bashes for them. Open source projects run bug bashes. But we took this idea a little bit further. So we said instead of just doing a bug bash, why not bring in a couple of exploratory testing experts and then club that with the participants we have who are automation you know, specialists in some sense, right? Uh, and try and get those two to work together to build together a a good test suite which we can contribute back to the Kivix project, right? And we also will acknowledge people who will find the most interesting bugs. Uh, the Kivix project is online. These guys are waiting for, uh, as soon as you start reporting the bugs, they will start acknowledging those. So we have the Kivix project participating. We also have Julian who's going to quickly come up and introduce what Kivix project is. He's a core contributor on the project. Julian, over to you, sir. Good morning. You can hear me at the back? Yeah. Good. Um, my background is I've worked in open source for a long time and I'm currently working on some projects to do with education. How many of you use Wikipedia? How many of you have problems with the internet sometimes? Okay, most of you. So imagine having Wikipedia offline on your tablet or on your laptop, on your MacBook. Would that be useful? Okay, so there's a project called Kiwix, which is the offline reader for Wikipedia. All the content for Wikipedia is available for download in all the languages. 
I'd like to ask you to tell me what that says, please. That's Hindi. I can't read it. Sorry. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this is Hindi. This is Wikipedia in Hindi. It's all of the Hindi Wikipedia. So it's one of many, many languages which are available for me to download and use on my tablet. And I'm using this in some projects you'll hear about tomorrow. So the idea is, for the bug bash, is we have test automation gurus. Some of you have got lots of Selenium background. Some of you want to learn about mobile. We have versions of Qix available as web servers, as um, iOS applications, no, sorry, everything but iOS just about, so Android applications, and for all the dis different desktop systems. The aim is, hopefully, you'll help us to create some good automation. I'll be there to help you, too. And if you claim your gurus in test automation, you don't write just crap copy-paste code. If you do, well, come and learn how to write some good code. Hopefully, we'll have code worth using and help an open source project reach even more millions of people and enable Wikipedia to be available to potentially a billion people around the world. So a small challenge for you. And uh, I'm part of the people picking the solutions um, and the best awards uh, for tomorrow, which will be announced at the end of the conference. Yep. So any questions, please get in touch with me. Uh, we've got two testing gurus. We've got uh, Jyothi and Pradeep. Who... Jyothi and Pradeep. Can you stand up, please? OK. Arrogant guru <laughs> and wannabe guru. Now, these are two good friends of mine from Bangalore, and uh, they're both great software testers. And they're here to help complement the automated testing. Uh, I've worked in enough companies, including Google and eBay, to see how people do test automation, sometimes brilliantly, sometimes not so well. And I think the two complement each other well. So the aim here is to collaborate and see what we can do in a couple of days to really help improve software. Um, how many of you speak Tamil? Gujarati? Hindi, Urdu, Bangladeshi, German, Portuguese. The software is available in 110 languages. We've got bugs in probably 110 languages. So you can help us find bugs in your language, if nothing else. Uh, and we'll be in E squared, is that right? Yeah, so we will be in E squared. We will start uh, after this. We'll have a short coffee break. And then 10.30, we will kick off uh, the bug bash. Uh, Julian will be there, I'll be there, we have a few other people who will be there. Uh, we're going to give three prizes uh, to the best contributors in terms of uh, automated tests. Those are three Raspberry Pi complete kit available. So if you want to grab one, uh, show off your skills in terms of your test automation skills. Yep. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, Julian. So if you've not registered, this, that's the URL. You can go up there and register. It takes less than three seconds, is what I've told to register. So don't hesitate. Yeah. So we we are also planning to kind of help you form a team and work as a team instead of working as individual because you can learn from each other and complement each other. Uh, the testing gurus will be available. Others will be available. So you can ask for help. You can pull help as, on a need basis. Now we start at. 10, 25 today, we run up till 11 o'clock tomorrow. So that's a little over 24 hours you have, right? There's some basic setup and stuff like that that would be required, so we're giving half an hour for that, and then you have 24 hours, right? We can be up all night and try and crank in some automation tests into it. Most of you must be used to that, staying up all night, working weekends, cranking in automation tests, so nothing different. Just that we are doing it for a good cause here. All right, uh, so get in touch with us. We'll be there at 10.30. Moving along, we also have in uh, the same hall, so that hall, uh, Esquire Hall, is split into two. The right side is for uh, running the bug bash, and the left-hand side of the hall is for open space and other kinds of events. So we have Ravi, who is going to be there, who's going to help us. Ravi, can you step up a little? So Ravi will be there. He's going to help us run the open space. How many people are familiar with the open space concept? Few people. The idea with an open space is, you know, you go to a conference, but not all the questions you have get answered in the program. Right? It's not possible for us to figure out every single thing in the conference program. Open space is meant for you to go in there and put up your own topics and ask questions or lead a discussion or things like that. So it's completely free format, self-organizing, you know, up to you guys what 
what do you want to do? So we have created that forum for you to take the maximum benefit out of the conference. All right? We also have slots marked on the program which talk about lightning talks. So we're going to be doing three minutes or five minutes lightning talks. The idea is that you come in and you, if you're passionate about some topic, if you have insights about something, or even if you have an open question for people, how do you do this kind of a thing and give a little bit of context, then that's your platform to come in. If you're not regular speaker at a conference, this is a fantastic forum for you to get started. Right? It's a, it's a three-minute, five-minute impromptu. You just go up and speak out. Right? So that's lightning talks. We have those happening, uh, again, marked in the program. The most important thing, and this is kind of a, almost a trademark of the conferences that we organized so far, we call that as the law of two feet. What is the law of two feet? If you find yourself in a boring session like this one, right, where you're not getting any value or you're not contributing any value, then you need to use your two feet and take yourself to a place where you will either contribute value or you will get value. Don't sit in the chair and warm the chair. It's an awful waste of your time, right? So if you find yourself in a session that didn't meet your expectation, be polite and just quietly get up and take yourself to a place where you will find value. We have three parallel tracks happening, so if one does not match your expectation, go to another one, right? Don't sit there and complain, because no one's going to listen to your complaints. We don't have feedback forms, by the way. We don't do feedback forms. The conference is yours, you're in control. If you don't find the session good, find another session, right? Or take over. Ask the speaker to get down and take over. It's absolutely fine. And that's something we've already communicated that, you know, it's perfectly fine to get up and leave. Just be polite. Don't disturb other people. Is everyone with me? How many people will use the law of two feet? Fantastic. Thank you, guys. I want to quickly thank our sponsors, without whom we would not be able to run this conference. So we have Sauce Lab and Browser Stack, who are our Selenium sponsors, the, the main sponsors for this event. Uh, they have been really helpful. Do we have anyone from Sauce Lab here or Browser Stack over here? Could you please stand up? Thank you, guys. Appreciate your help. We have Eureka QA and Salesforce. Eureka QA, sorry. And Salesforce, do we have anyone from those two companies? Thank you, guys. These folks have their boots outside. Salesforce doesn't have, but the rest of them have their boots outside. So you know, feel free to get in touch with them. They have some cool stuff they're doing at the stall. So you know, get there. I think they have t-shirts. They have other raffles going on. So please do uh, visit them. Uh, we also have Simplified, Selenium Simplified, who's sponsoring the lunch today. Uh, we have Airtel, who's sponsoring the Wi-Fi for the conference. And then we have Ideas, who sponsored the bag, the conference bag for you guys. All right? Thank you, guys. Appreciate your help. Uh, as I just said, we have the sponsors right outside this hall, so please do visit them. Uh, I put up this slide earlier about the Wi-Fi. Uh, everyone's been able to connect to the Wi-Fi. That's fantastic. It will not last long, so enjoy while it's there. <laughs> I'm told that it can handle up to 1,000 people, right? And you know what that means. I want to quickly acknowledge the team that put this conference together. So if we have folks who are here on this thing, please stand up. I see Simon over there. Marcus is not here. Marcus is remote. Uh, Manoj is not here. He couldn't make it. Uh, do we have Anand? Dave? Where is Dave? Dave is missing in action. Uh, Patrick is also not here. So, and the person over there that's not visible is Deepak, who's helping us with all the logistics. So, again, thank you guys for helping us put this conference together. I do want to give special thanks to the Software Freedom Consistency. Uh, these are the guys who run the Selenium project. They handle all the logistics, the financial aspects, the legal aspects. 
Uh, without them, again, the Selenium project couldn't get to the stage where it is. They leave Simon and team to focus on what they are best at, right? Uh, Chancery Pavilion, which is the host for the conference, they have been really helpful. You know, most of the stuff, they've helped us really well. Uh, the event management who's put all of these things together is uh, Event Circle, so big thanks to them. We have a reception tonight. How many people are aware of the reception tonight? In your uh, badges, you have a reception pass, right? So we are doing a jugal bandi tonight. A jugal bandi is the concept where we're going to get a few musicians. These are A-grade musicians. These play uh, top-class music, uh, their own composition. They're going to come up and they're going to jam on the stage. And one person takes off from where the second person leaves and they play the same thing, same tune or same uh, rhythm or same melody on different instruments. And then we're going to invite you guys to come in and join and take over. Right? And you can automate that. <laughs> so we have that happening, and that's starting at 7 p.m. today, maybe 7.15, because they need about 30 minutes to do a setup. So 6.45, we wrap up, and then 15 minutes to do the setup, and then we will start at 7.15 uh, with the Chugal Bandi. That's probably for two hours. They're going to play music, and then we're going to have dinner. All right? Everyone's got uh, coupons, lunch coupons inside, in their badges. There are two coupons, one for each day, and you will need to hand it over when you grab your lunch. All right, that's just to make sure we have a count of how many people are here. That's it, that's all I had to share. Uh, if you have any other questions, I'll be around. Uh, but this is pretty much everything you need to know about the conference right now, and at this stage, our job is done, your job starts, right? Thank you again, and see you at the conference.